Hi, this is part two on how to make your own homemade frozen yogurt. So um, just to recap, I used eight cups of whole milk, put it in a heavy bottom pot, brought it up to a boil. And once it started boiling, I took it off of the heat, let it come down to about 115 degrees Fahrenheit, added my yogurt culture, put a lid on it, stirred it up real good, put the lid on it, and put it in my oven with just the light bulb on, just the light in the oven, no heat, no nothing, the residual heat from the um, warmed milk culture mix, if you will, yogurt mix, um, it just did its own magic. It did. It was magic. Voila! I'm going to bend you down here so you can see what I ended up with. And I do have to admit, I wasn't able to work on this video immediately when it was finished. So I, um, I did put it in the fridge for a little bit. So if you see a little condensation on the bowl, that's, you know, the situation. So come down here and I'm going to show you how great this yogurt is. Come on. All the way down here. Look at this. Look at that. Is that not amazing? There's no preservatives, there's no chemicals, just the natural fermentation. Give it a good stir. Look at that. Yum. Now, because we are going to make frozen yogurt, I'm going to flavor this. Because, you know, just plain frozen yogurt, I suppose, is okay. But why settle for okay when you can have fabulous? So, what I'm going to do is get my blender get my blender get something to scoop the yogurt out with okay this will work now I'm just going to start with a little bit at a time of the yogurt and just pour it in the blender this is not a neat job So that's roughly about four cups of the yogurt. And to that, I am going to add probably a half a jar of my own home canned blueberry jam. So we'll put this in here. Grab the lid. And then I'm just going to blend it on the smoothie setting. So um, here we go. Add a little bit more yogurt to it. And you don't have to use the whole recipe of the yogurt for all the same flavor, obviously. This is just a flavor that we really like, so that's what I'm going to do. Now, since we did add the fruit to this, it did water it down a little bit. I forgot to mention, this isn't just blueberry jam. It's blueberry vanilla. Yeah, it's that good. So I'm just going to pour it 
into my freezer containers like so put the lid on just like that it's ready for the freezer here you have it blueberry vanilla frozen yogurt it's that good see ya